In Korea, there's something called a study cafe. It's not a cafe per se, but it's more like a place you go to study. Think of like a reading room in a university, but it has free coffee and it's accessible for everybody. You basically pay for a certain amount of time, find a place to sit, and then you just start working. Study cafes have really strict rules on food and noise, so there's no need of worrying about distractions and things getting away of your work. So let's get into how it works. So before starting to make a user at the study cafe, you will need to have a Korean phone number. Tourist SIM cards also works for this. If you watched the PC Bang video, finding a PC Bang was just about walking out into the street and finding it. But study cafes are a bit more complicated. I recommend downloading the Naver app and searching for this or study cafe. I'll write it in the description so we can paste it into Naver. The study cafes might be hard to find on their own as their logos are in Korean. So also look for the logo in the Naver app so you know what to look for. On the Naver app, you can check the price and you can also use Google Translate on reviews to see what people think. All the study cafes I've been to have been really nice, however some do not allow working on a laptop. This is because of the keyboard noises and clicking sounds with the mouse, but this is often mentioned in reviews. When you find a location on Naver, go to it and look for the logo. The study cafes might not be in the first floor, so expect to search around in the building a bit. They often have arrows or signs pointing you in the right direction. And now you found the study cafe and you're on your way in. So before you go into the main study area, you have to register an account and pay for your time. If you don't know any Korean and I don't really know Korean, I recommend downloading the Google Translate app to take a picture and translate the buttons on screen. Once it's done and you logged in, you will get the menu. There's often a lot of buttons, but I just look for the one that looks like a clock or watch or that mentions time reservation or temporary reservation or something like that. For example, like this clock icon on this menu. And when you click it, you'll come to a screen where you can choose how many hours you want to pay for. So choose how many hours you want to reserve and remember you you can leave and enter as many times as you want during the reserve time. Next, choose a place to sit. It can be a bit hard to see which type of seats there are, so I recommend reserving just an hour or two and checking out the area and every seat, because some seats are for laptops, some are for reading, some are more like private capsules you can rent. Some look more like the traditional reading rooms in universities. So make sure you choose the right seat for you. After choosing a place to sit, press next and pay with card or cash. They might ask you to confirm your number again after paying, so be sure to have your phone ready. Now you just have to wait a bit and you will receive an SMS with a link. And this link often have a QR code you have to scan yourself in with. But before scanning yourself in, close to the QR code scanner, there's often this camera that takes your temperature. So make sure that one takes your temperature and then you can scan your code. This is to make sure you don't have a fever and don't spread any diseases. It's probably from the corona time. And you're in! The hardest part is done and now you can find your seat and start working. So let's go over what you can actually do at the study cafe. So first of all we have the break room. This is the main room outside the study room. The break room is used to, well, to take breaks. <laughs> And you can also eat there, make coffee or tea or talk with the study mates. However, even though it's outside the main study room, it's important to keep the noise down. They also have lockers you can put your stuff in. I have not used these myself, but I think it's just a matter of paying for the time you're using them. Most of the cafes also have printers you can use. Some places you have a certain amount of paper you can print for free. Others you have to pay for each paper you're printing. Again, use Google Translate to translate the instructions on using the printer. If you want a snack, some of the cafes even have free small snacks you can eat. If you are bringing food or drinks you can use the refrigerator also don't bring smelly food <laughs> They're really strict about the smell of food in the study cafes. <laughs> Many study cafes also have free coffee, tea and water. In South Korea, you shouldn't really drink the tap water, but the study cafes often have these filtered water machines where you can get cold or warm water. Also, the desk you're working at often have different light settings. It's nice to have different light settings depending on what you're working with. And now let's go over rules. There's a bunch. <laughs> to keep the focus high and the distractions low, they have a strict set of rules which vary from place to place. They are especially strict on noise, which is why you're not allowed to have a loud PC mount or loud keyboard. I recommend buying a cheap stealth mouse and using a quiet keyboard. The Mac keyboard seems to be okay. They also have this rubber thing you can put on top of the keyboard to make it less noisy. However, it's not too comfortable to use. The break room is where you eat. However, you're not allowed to eat big meals or smelly foods. They even had a sign that said that chicken triangle kimbap smells more than you think. So you're not allowed to bring that either. I usually just bring an apple and if I want to eat a bigger lunch, I just go to one of the restaurants or convenience stores outside. Some of the rules are very specific too. For example, example, this one, if you took a free snack, you had to eat it as a whole to avoid the smell and chewing noises in the study area. You were also not allowed to sit next to a friend, since the goal is to work, not talk. So if you're bringing a friend, make sure you're sitting far away from him. <laughs> the rules vary from place to place, but my rule of thumb is, if you're unsure about something, look at the other people there and just follow their lead. The study cafe is a really nice place to get work done, so I really hope this video helped you. If I made an error or you have something to add, just comment below and tell me. Hope you liked this video and found it informative. 
I'm currently traveling around Asia and making a bunch of videos like this. So if you find this interesting, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. So thank you for watching and see you next week.